listen to me our lesson for today is inverse variation what does it mean inverse variation first you must have to know about what is inverse variation i will explain you as this if you have two values okay if you increase one value the other value should decrease okay these type of things we call it inverse variation first of all i will give you an example of direct variation what does it mean direct variation if you are increasing one thing and beside that the other thing will increase how if you went there outside on the store and you want to buy anything let's say you want to buy biscuit assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam why are you late today hmm why are you late i just done something else listen to me let's say uh, you went out to buy the biscuit okay from the store and it costs you 5 riyals okay for one biscuit now you are increasing the biscuit packets now two packets two packets will cost how much 10 riyals 10 yeah and what about three packets in 15 15 means you are increasing the number of packets and with that your price what's happening with the price is uh, increasing increasing very good okay when you when you increase one thing the on the other side the other thing is also increasing automatically this is we call it direct variation okay okay and inverse variation is totally opposite of it when you increase one thing on the other hand it decreases the other thing this is what we call it inverse variation just look an example sorry here the definition who will read this one Uh, me uh, a relationship between two variables x and y in which their product is a constant k is called an inverse variation variation okay very good a relationship between two variables you have two variables x and y as Relation i gave you what? it's a uh, page number 347 listen there are two variables x and y as i gave you an example we took two things biscuit and price okay in direct variation in which their product is constant k is called an inverse variation or it's uh, written there as you can see let me share with you a board okay. of sharing a board no no i did it so you have two values and you multiply them x times y and their product is constant sorry and their product is constant k so from here you want to find the value of k you can write it as x is equal to k over y can you write it or no yeah how who will tell me how did you get this one from x y is equal to k and i changed this equation into x is equal to k over y i divided what did i do i divided both side by y okay mm -hmm. this y will be cancelled and here you have x is equal to k over y same like this from this equation x y x times y is equals to k you can get the value of y both divided by x both sides okay x will be cancelled and you will have y is equal to what k over x okay so i just gave you one hint if you increase one thing on the other side okay decreases the other thing now look at this tell whether the relationship is an inverse right yes or no 
the first one. Uh, let me share it. Your book, this one. Question number two. The relationship between the base and height of triangle with an area of forty to sorry twenty four square units. Look at there. Uh, if you have a triangle, let me share it again with you. Okay, I'm drawing any triangle. Okay, and its area is fixed. Area is twenty-four square feet. Okay. Okay. Yes, we are not going to change its area. Okay, we will keep the area twenty-four square feet same. In the question, what is written there? Read it. The relationship between the base and height of triangles with an area of twenty-four square units. Yes, the relationship between base and height. Just check it. Its base. This is its base and its height. Yeah. Okay. We want yeah. to keep it. We want to keep it twenty-four square units. Let's say if I increase its base. Okay. Then what will happen with its height? Will it decrease or increase? Increase. No. Listen to how, me. How? Listen. Okay. Uh, I I made it like this. Okay. Before that, its height was bigger. Now here it's smaller. We want to keep twenty four. We want to keep twenty four the same. We don't want to change it. Okay. Yeah. So if you are increasing its base, its height will decrease. Okay, because when one thing increases, the other thing decreases in 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 inverse variation. Okay, so both of them are inverse variation. You will write there yes, right here. Are they inverse variation? Yes. Uh, right here, yes. Because you want to keep twenty-four same, so if you will increase its base, you must have to decrease its height. Listen to me now. Try to understand this question. Who will read this one? Uh, Yahya, could you please read this one? Question number three. Yahya is not here. Imagine you read it. Okay. The relationship between the number of car accidents and the cost of the car insurance. Do you know about car accidents? What is it? Yeah. And uh, uh, insurance. Uh, Listen, and the insurance. Do you know that? Yeah. Okay. I'm asking just for one thing. Tell me. Uh, I will ask this question from you. Mm. If you if you have many cars, okay, and they are accidental cars. and what will happen with their insurance the cost of insurance will it increase or decrease increase increase so the number of accidents is also increasing and the cost is also increasing increase okay if you decrease the number of accidents then what will happen with the insurance it will decrease decrease so what did you observe with both values when you increase one thing what happens with the other value they it will increase increase okay if you are decreasing the accidents what's happening with the cost, uh, in cost insurance cost also it will decrease. decrease decrease so it's not inverse variation because when you increase one thing the other on the other hand the other thing is also increases okay so tell me is it inverse variation or not uh inverse yeah it's uh, yes and no it's not inverse variations are opposite no. when one increase other decrease increase and decrease can't be together yeah so it will be no okay the relationship between altitude and the temperature what is the relationship 
if you go higher and higher what happens i feel the, uh, uh, what happens with the temperature cold yes colder and if you come down what happens with the temperature when you Heat. increase uh, so is uh, is there any are they inverse or uh, no near yeah. no you are increasing how the temperature is also if you go high the temperature is increasing if you go down okay now next one in this y is equal to 18 over x is it uh sorry what was i if you look at this at this one uh, let me highlight this one what is written there y x y is equal to k k and y is equal to what uh, k over x k over x k is constant k is a number okay y is equal to 18 over x is it inverse variable uh, variation or no no from the equation from the equation no yeah. no yes it's inverse variation why yeah. look at this y is equal to k over x and k is number okay mm. or x times y is equal to k so it yes inverse variation next one question number 6 is it in this form uh, let me write here uh uh wait yes y is equal to k over x is it in this form k over x form or no 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 so it's not can you see y is equal to k over x which i wrote here with the blue pen yeah yeah okay so right here no they are not inverse variation because we cannot write it as y is equal to k over x okay yeah uh question number 7 xy is equal to 72 is it inverse variation or no yes yes inverse variation right here yes next one question number 8 y is equal to x square can we write it as y is equal to k over x no no so right here no find k x or y if we need okay mm okay uh let me solve this in another way okay here read this question number 10 what is written there y varies inversely with x okay. and y is equal to 8 and x is equal to 3 we okay. will find the k we will find k and we, as you know that x times y is equals to k right x multiply y is equal to k x times y is equals to k what is the value of x uh 3 3 so you can write it as 3 times 8 is equals to sorry 24 ah uh, yeah 24 very good it's 24 the answer is 24 just only this x varies inversely okay with y and y is 21 and x is 3 so how will you solve it um uh, uh, multiply 21 multiply 3 yes you know Or that right here x times y is equal to what k k and what is k. the value of x 21 times 3 21 times 3 what is it 
Uh, 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63. 63
We need to find uh, y. Y. Tell me what is the equation for y? Y is equal to? Y is equal to k over x. Y is equal to k over x. So y is equal to, what is the value of k? Uh, 8. 8 over 0 0.4. Tell me, what is the answer, 0 0.4? 20. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, 20. Right. How? Divide it. You will have 20. He said, he says the answer and he said, how? Actually, I, I said the answer. Then yeah. I forget to put the zero. It's written uh, point 0.4. I didn't put the zero. Okay, next one, question number 16. Y varies inversely with X and Y. So you need to find X. Yahya, tell me how to find X. X is equal to? <clears throat> X is equal to Y. Huh? Uh, X <laughs> is equal to mm -hmm. Y divided by X. Check in X question number 13. X divided by one. Check question number 13. X is equal to what? K divided by one. Yes, K divided by one. K over Y. So, X is equal to K, K is what? 10 divided by 10 over 2.5. 2.5. So, what will be the answer? X is equal to? Four. Four. <laughs> yeah. Can I go to next page? Tell me in comment. Yes or no? Is he listening to us or no? Because he don't have a mic or something. He doesn't. He doesn't. Not don't. Don't we use it for the plural? With he, she, we use doesn't. Okay? Okay. Next one. Okay, just check the relationship. Okay. Is it inverse or not? Inverse, I, I tell you again. Inverse means when one value increases, x increases, y should decrease. Okay? Yeah. So, look at there. Question number 17. x is 1 and y is 4. X is two. X increases, and what happens with the Y? Uh, Seven. Increase. Increase. Okay. Now X becomes three, and what happens with the Y? Uh, increase. increase. Means when you are increasing X in question number seventeen, the value of Y is also what's happening with Y. It's also increasing. So is it inverse variation or no? No. No. So it's written there, no. Same like this question number 18. Tell me, is it inverse or no? No. Why it's no? Because they are increasing, the both of them. Both of them are increasing. When you are increasing x, x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and y is becoming 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Right? So yeah. both of them are increasing, so they are not uh, inverse relationship. What about question number 19? Tell me, x is 1, y is 12, x is 2, y is 6, x becomes 3, and y became. Yeah, my internet is uh, not good. 
what can you even say? your voice sometimes is lagging uh -huh. okay now tell me in question number 19 uh, x is 1 and y is 12 okay so x x is 2 and y is 6 one value x is increasing and what's happening with the value of y increasing or decreasing 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 so is it inverse relationship or no yes yes it's yeah. inverse relationship right here yes <clears throat> Yes. Okay. Yes. Next one, question number 20. This graph. Okay. Now look yeah. at the one x axis down there. It's zero. Uh, let me use the other one. No, they are not. Uh, listen, 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 okay. listen. Wait, wait. Okay. Here, x is zero. Then here. X is one, this two, then here X is three, then four, then here X is five, then six, then X is seven. Okay. Can you see one, three, five, seven? No. Okay. Now on Y axis, X is zero, then X one, then two, then X three, then four, then X five, then six, then seven. Now, first of all, check at when X is zero, Okay, x is zero. What is the value of y? What did you see here? When x is zero, what is the value of y there? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay, when you increase x, okay, mm -hmm. then on x, what is the value of y? Eight. Uh, it's four. Four. Okay. When x is three, okay. What is the value of y? Is it decrease Sorry. or increase? Mm, decrease. Okay. When x is four, what is the value of y? Two. Two. So from this graph, you can find the value or the graph like this curved shape. Okay. It's also for the inverse relationship. So right here, this one is inverse, right here, yes, it's inverse. Okay. Same like this here, this one is also inverse relationship. When you will find a straight line, straight line is always direct. No. Direct variation. So right here, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 